Welcome back Pokefans to the playthrough of Pokemon Soulstones 2 Time Wardens. So last episode we made it to the Temple of Creation and we met like a kind of ghost subconscious thing of Ezreal and we had to battle a Templar Space, Templar Time, no Ultra Space, Ultra Time kind of ghost thing to prove our worth to meet Arceus um, then we had to battle the Ezreal thing itself and yeah I don't really know what's going on because it was basically saying that it's got all of Ezreal's memories up until it was created and then nothing after so it didn't know about the orb of creation and everything and it was basically trying to put doubt in us as to whether we should go and see Arceus because Arceus will want the orb of creation and reset humanity and everything so yeah it, it was a little bit confusing but we're going to proceed forward anyway meanwhile with the help of the relic that he recovered from the draco city museum angelo has made his way to the alpha point within the deimos caves with sienna as his prisoner hey i forgot all about this the fabled alpha point deep within the deimos caves i should have known it would have been here Fortunately, the relic that I recorded from the Draco City Museum enlightened the way and showed me the path to this hallowed place. Did you know, Mother, that it's said that these caverns are enchanted? Allegedly, the depths of the cave show you a vision of what you desire. Appropriate that, then that this cave shows us a picture of the cosmos with me standing on the cusp of destiny, ready to seize control over all of it. Good God, you are pathetic. Your delusions of grandeur are sickening. You're the most irritating captor ever. Do you ever shut up? I'd expect nothing less from a small minded creature like you. At every opportunity I get, I try to extend an olive branch to you, to show you that there is more to our existence than leading these aimless mortal lives. I would have thought you'd be a believer by now when I compelled two of the three creation trio members into serving me. And still you spit in my face. The audacity. Perhaps I am the naive one. I keep hoping I can break your faith, but it seems you intend to die a devout zealot. No matter with the sigils in sigils within my control I can make my way into the time matrix and confront our creator Lord Arceus himself from within his throne in the origin soon I shall become the master of the multiverse my anticipation is palpable oh get it over with Angela I can't wait to see Arceus obliterate you in an instance for your defiance uh oh the way to the time matrix stands open in front of us comrades we have a meeting with our creator Brace yourselves to the battle of your destiny. Little does he know that we're about to sit meet Arceus herself. Oh, this looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Humans in my realm. A curious development. There must be a reason that you would disturb me in my sanctuary after all these eons. Tell me what you need. Lord Arceus, we are in dire need of your assistance. If I've learned anything during my time here, it is that we're looking for... It is that what, what we're looking for and what we need are really the same thing. Lord Arceus, you don't understand, there is a mortal, Angelo Duplessis. He seeks to attack your throne in the origin and rewrite all of creation. He's created artificial sigils that have given him the power to enslave Palkia and Giratina. He has raised an army of anomalies that seek to invade the time matrix and destroy all of creation so he can rebuild it in his own vision. Erasing the misbegotten creation that I fathered with my children. A creation that was the cause of a conflict that tore my very own family apart. Tell me, why should I help your ungrateful kind when all you have done have caused me pain? Father, you must help us. Humankind are worth saving. If we are to preserve the balance, this is our opportunity to help bring it back from the darkness and usher it back into the light. Creation is damned. They sealed their own demise when they stole the orb of creation and began the war to kill themselves off. I only wish they were more expedient in doing so. Everything you've described to me so far about this Angelo, he seeks to do what I wanted to do all along. If anything, I should be going to help him. Father, wait. They have the orb of creation. And what do you propose we do with the other creation, Dialga? Take away their free will and compel them into servitude. What? No. We're not giving you the orb of creation if it means you take away what makes us human. 
You see, Dioga, it was this very dispute that resulted in Ezreal stealing the artifact from us, the threat of us wanting to start over, the thing that drove Giratine to part ways from us and pit our very own creation against one another. Even if we were to use the orb of creation, we do not have the foresight to find the origin to use it to start anew. When the sigils of creation were disconnected from the spires of creation, the path to the origin was lost. We do not have the means to find it to be able to use the orb of creation. Furthermore, the creation world was exhausting. I don't wish to begin another. I failed humanity and I failed all of creation. And so I came here. I abandoned humanity and I abandoned my creation because I could not bear to see the conflict anymore. I thought that by leaving it behind, the pain it once caused me could be forgotten. I do not wish to immerse myself in the affairs of creation anymore. I no longer have any need for the orb of creation. What? But, Father. It was a mistake for you to bring these humans here, Dioga. I cannot help them, nor can I help creation. Angelo Duplessis will be victorious. He will thrust all of creation into a state of disorder, and in doing so, return it to its natural state, its original state. Truly, it is he who is the saviour of the balance. I am the one that interfered by attempting to change the natural order. I was the one that destroyed the balance by creating the multiverse. The natural state is chaos and disharmony. The anomaly shall continue propagating and I shall remain here away from their reach. I urge you to stay here with me, Dioga. We will be safe here from Angelo's actions. But creation itself is lost. I learned this too late but now I pray that he will bring it to its end quickly and restore the balance this audience is concluded leave us okay well this is an unexpected development time more than Kara the orb of creation is a powerful artifact one that should not be kept within the reach of mortals but for my father to not even want it back my father's been in a dark depression for several centuries this isolation he has forced himself into has made it worse he's become hopeless he's allowed the darkness to pierce through you can leave this realm, humans, but I shall not give up on you. My father may have, but I can still convince him that humankind are worth saving. The natural state is not one of chaos and disorder. Allow me to give you this item for coming this far with me. A Nimbus. A flying cloud that can only be ridden by those of a pure heart. Is this Dragon Ball Z or something? Easy for you to say. As long as you stay here, you're safe from Angela rewriting all of creation. If you fail to bring Arcus out of his depression, it doesn't matter to you, because you'll still be alive. Humankind, on the other hand, as we know it, will be wiped out if Angela wins. It's been a waste of time, new gods are all useless. I was a fool to take this long to realise this, but if we're to save ourselves from Angela's madness, it's up to us to do it. It always has been, and we can't rely on some supernatural extrinsic force to get us out of this. Let's go, everyone. Chapter 12 Complete Chapter 13 The Time Matrix Following an unsuccessful meeting with Arceus, he turned out to be every bit as useless as Ezreal's simulacrum warned. Seems that to stop Angela, you will be left to your own devices while the gods hide away in Arceus' realm. Hmm. The portal's closed. They sealed us out of their realm. They abandoned us again. Ah, oh, this was a massive waste of time. Ezreal's simulacrum was right. Well, well, well. Look who's still alive. Colour me surprised. Stop gloating. Oh no, I most certainly will not. You insist on going to the creator. I did warn you not to get your hopes up. And by the look on your faces, I'm guessing I was right. But I suppose I did lose one bit. Here I thought after all these weeks of waiting here, you were surely dead and Arceus had obliterated you as I suspected. Hold on, what? Weeks? What do you mean by weeks? Oh, did you not know? Time elapses differently in different parts of the other worlds. I'm sure you believe you spent only a couple of minutes up in Arceus' realm to be thoroughly disappointed and realise that Lord Arceus is every bit of deadbeat as I had told you. And then you turn back to the mortal plane to realise that in actuality weeks of time had lapsed during your brief jaunt to his realm. My might it seems you've just gifted Angelo the multiverse on a silver platter. Ah, oh. You need to help us. They all get even offered him the orb of creation, but then Arcus said he didn't even want it back. He said that he didn't care because his realm was safe from Angelo rewriting all of creation. The natural state of the world was disorder, and his actions of creating humankind were the one that caused all of existence to fall out of balance. I naively hoped that he would help us, but it turns out Arcus thinks Angelo is the agent to help return the multiverse to balance by restoring it back to a state of chaos and disorder. It's a natural state before he intervened by creating the multiverse. Hmm. I dare say I think our creator was going a little mad during his isolation up in his realm. 
We can't wait on them to take action. They sit within Arcus realm and remain protected from any actions Angelo might take to rewrite the multiverse. So it's been up to us to save ourselves. Bad enough it seems like we gave Angelo several weeks head start. He likely already has been wandering around in Time Matrix following his map. But the origin was destroyed when we trapped the Mind Link Prime in the Soul Stone. The very fact that we're still here means that he may very well be lost in there because the time matrix will be in complete disarray following the destruction of the origin and the paths that stretch across space time will likely be broken or impeded the origin was destroyed that's what the time wardens were led to believe when the mind link prime's host body exploded it caused critical damage to the origin the force that has kept the time matrix in balance since time immemorial will be left behind in a vacuum this is very concerning i wasn't aware this had happened by the origin to keep the cosmic web in place, the individual universe bubbles could be babbling out across space time without any central force to keep them anchored in place. Still though, if Angelo has the sigils, it doesn't matter what damage has been done, if he's able to find the spires of creation, he can use the sigils to recreate an artificial path to the origin. But you can do so also using the power of the orb of creation. It's just a matter of beating him there before he gets to the origin. Beating him there isn't going to do much though, even if we were to rebuild a path to the origin using the orb of creation, what good will that achieve? He still has a legion of anomalies and two enslaved gods at his side. I have an idea. We've been lost to do this so long, but it's clear that the Soulstone will carry us some latent power that I could use to help us. Kara, no. We don't know what the Soulstone is capable of doing. We can't risk it. Manaphy, we don't have a choice. Arceus and Dagra have abandoned us. We've apparently squandered weeks of time by visiting Arceus just to find out he's been spoiling self pity for centuries, and for all we know, Angelo has already reached Time Matrix and is searching for the origin as we speak. What about Caitlyn? She may be able to help us. Oh my god, Caitlyn, that's it. She'll still be in Draco City with Aki trying to help rebuild the city. But she understands the technology underpinning the artificial sigils and what's being used to control and enslave the anomalies. If we can sabotage the technology that Angelo is using, we could turn his legion of anomalies against him and stop him. Everyone, we need to get back to Draco City as soon as we can. Perkets, when you're ready, speak to me and we can teleport back. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and do that right now. Teleport incoming. <coughs> Meanwhile, Angelo's been roaming the time matrix using his map that he recovered to fruitlessly search for the origin and the spires of creation. This is not right. Where is it? Curse this map. It's just led me astray. <laughs> Your increasing frustration brings me such joy. Seems like Arceus has pulled a fast one on you there, eh, Angela? Silence, mother. This doesn't make sense. This is not at all what the time magic should look like. All the research I've done for my time in the Telescopium Academy. How could it be so wrong? Everything else that I'd researched today has been correct. Something isn't right here. How could this place be in such disarray from what the myths had recorded? Something has happened to the time matrix, but what could have caused this kind of damage? This must be the Time Matrix as it stands following the aftermath of the Time Warden imprisoning the Mind Link Prime in the origin. The Mind Link Prime, what is that? Something that was more threatening than you, that's for certain. Ah, oh, I should not yield. Arceus friend shall be mine. The artificial sigils shall light the way to the spires of creation and from there I shall step foot into the fabled origin. Well, Lord Angelo, we have discovered something disturbing. What is it? There are other creatures in here. Anomalies. So what? You have the braces to compel them into servitude. What's the problem? No, my lord. These anomalies are more advanced. They're resistant to the bracelets somehow. They are organised, cohesive. They sense our presence. Something or someone is leading them. They've been hunting us and taking out our soldiers one by one. So not only are we lost in the time matrix, you now have some rogue anomalies that are resistant to your compulsion bracelets and they're now hunting your army in here. Seems like we won't even live long enough to get to the origin at the rate you we're going. Still a job there, Angelo, my dear boy. We've also been unable to make any progress on finding the spires of creation. Sir, I must recommend that we retreat back to the port in the Damos Caves so we can regroup and rebuild our legions. Giratina, kill him. Jeez. If the anomalies in this place cannot be controlled, then use our own pets to put the enemy ones down. No matter how advanced these things are, they are not infallible. We have the numbers. No one is going home until I have my prize. Nothing or no one shall stop my crusade to conquer the origin. All we require is one spire to be found. From there, I can use the sigils to craft a path to the origin. But we must find a spire, any spire first. 
Split up your forces and send them across the different parts of the time matrix if you must. One of these scouting bands will eventually find a spire and from there I will have all I need to walk into the origin. Now find me that damn spire. Is that understood, soldier? Yes, sir. You send in your loyal soldiers to their deaths, Angela. When does your madness end? Your rage and your desperation. You're killing the people that have loyally followed you into the fabled time matrix. Your hubris shall be your undoing, Angela. Hmm, well this is getting interesting. Wonder if we're gonna see the Leviathan soon. I think that was what they were called anyway. Look at this place. It's like a world different from when we left it. Curly and Aki were efficient. Although that's also not a good thing for us because if they've managed to restore the city this much then we also don't know how much time Angelo's been in the time matrix for. We need to find Kaylee and Naki. Hopefully they're still here. <clears throat> they may think that we have had abandoned them if weeks had elapsed while we went to see Arceus. Kaylee did mention to me that she and Naki were likely going to set up a base of operations to oversee the restoration of Draco City from the museum. The museum sustained some of the heaviest damage during the attack because Angelo ransacked the place looking for that time matrix map. My guess is if they're still here, they will be in the museum. Good idea, Artu. Pokecats will meet you in the museum. This is actually crazy. That all of this is now open. I wonder if there's actually anything of, like, use in here. Wait, I can't play Triple Tribe with you, I don't have any cards. Right, nothing in that house. Saw a strange figure in the woods the other day, I wonder if it was Pokemon or something else entirely. Hmm, good question. Oh, Elizabeth. But you must know I'm a bit forgetful from time to time. If you prefer, I shan't give you any more of these little trinkets I find. No, no, I like free things. Of course you do, who doesn't? Black market token. Allows you free entry into the black market. What's this? A special token that can be used to permit you access to the Orient City black market. How did you get this and why do you have all this contraband stuff? Especially don't ask questions about these matters, Pokex. I can take that token back if you don't want it. No, no, I'll keep my mouth shut. You're smarter than you look. Anyway, I'm off to the Alright. Hive body is the signature ability of what Pokemon? A hive body? It's got to be Goldengo though. Has the effect of applying infestation. Uses contact moves on it. In addition to chip damage, the infestation has the only benefit of keeping Pokemon trapped. Cannon fire raises the effectiveness of what? Bomb. The new swan song has a chance to lower what? Mm. We're obviously going to find all this out when we later go in. Dingo. Bomb. Oh wow. Very potent and special flying type move that has a chance to lower all of the target stats by one stage each. Of course you only have 60 base power to compensate so it's not a very strong move to use unless you're hoping to get a lucky proc. <coughs> oh, Pidgeot. Three iron shards. Well, what's upstairs? Move to uh, scale shot mod shackles flip turn. Wonder what that is. I don't really want to waste my money there. Well, my shards. Mystic blood blood ritual. Um, right, ice type, yep, I'll take that, thank you. Let's just have a look at what the level cap currently is. 75, so that means it'll be 76. To 
be fair, that's quite we're quite far off that. So I might have to do some grinding. Hmm. Instrument in donating my fossils to the museum through my work. So you're from the corporation and you were part of the people that destroyed this place. So what are you still doing here? Very quiet. Okay, the music's starting to pick up now. I don't even know where the museum is. Hiking trails are a great way to see the local wildlife up close. Nothing in the bin. Local restaurants serve up some of the best mountain cuisine you'll find anywhere. No free stuff. Looking for a looks where I'll try to my Ursuluna or Machamp. Eh, I think I've already got that Machamp actually. Unless it's the Cyclops one. Right, well, where is the actual museum? Because what I want to do is I want to find the museum. I don't think we've been in here. Yeah, I want to find the museum and then I can go and do some grinding, get everyone up to what the levels should be. Another empty house, pretty much. Oh, there's a good friend, the pilot of the Drift Blimp. How do we get back up there now? Oh yeah, this way. I don't think this is the museum either. Our towns to the east of Draco City, you're going basically all downhill. Haven't we been to Aura City? Come on, move out of the way. Stupid bat. No, I haven't heard a triple triad. Believe it or not. Okay, that's a dead end. This could be the museum, maybe. Aha, Caitlin Aki, you're here. Carver, you're back. We thought you di ditched us. We've been working on trying to rebuild this city for weeks. Where did you people go? You said you were going to Ara City to meet Varkius. What took so long? <coughs> Carver recounts your mutual experience of navigating through the Temple of Creation, meeting Vesriel's simulacrum, and finally meeting with Arceus in his realm. Just to be disappointed by his lack of interest in helping us. Wow, so Arceus is a deadbeat, huh? Not gonna lie, kind of disappointed by that, but also totally relieved. After my one time blasphemy for most of my adult life, it's good to know that the big creator of our world is entirely useless. Oh man, so Arceus won't help us. So we just wasted a bunch of time rebuilding Draco's city. But if Angelo's gonna find the spies of creation in the origin and wipe out all of creation anyway, this would have been a big waste of time. There's still a chance. If Angelo had found the origin by now, all of creation would be erased already. The fact that we're still alive means that he may very well be lost in the time matrix. We have the opportunity to beat him to the spies of creation while he stumbles around in the labyrinth of the time matrix. But how are we going to get to the time matrix? My soul stone will allow us the ability to open a portal there. It is how I was able, first able to arrive in the Orion region. It can open portals to wherever I want in the time matrix. I can get us to the spies of creation. Okay, fine, but Arceus isn't here to help us. Even if we do beat Angelo to the spies of creation, what are we going to do about the Legion of Anomalies, Giratina, Palkia? Angelo has two or three creation trio gods being compelled to serve him. That's why I'm hoping you can help us, Caitlin. Um, what? Run that by me again real quick. You're the one that gave us the technology to originally dispose of the anomalies after we weakened them. 
It's your technology that Dr. Ledup was able to derive to find a way to equip Angelo's soldiers with the ability to control them. There must be a way to disrupt their control and turn the anomalies against their captors. Hmm. I suppose it's possible. But the solution I'm thinking of could cause more trouble for us than it would solve. What are you thinking? Time Matrix is huge, right. Angelo's legions are probably crawling throughout the entire place, hunting for the spies of creation. If he finds the spies, he can use his artificial sigils to recreate a path to this origin place. But Kara, if you know how to get us to the spies of creation before he does, we could set a trap for him at each one. I'm thinking that I could develop a sort of signal breaker gadget that causes the guild's compulsion bracelets to malfunction. If that happens, the control that Angelo has over everything is compelled in there would fail, including Giratina and Palkia. So suddenly the anomalies that are serving the henchmen would turn against their owners. We'd be condemning scores of this of his soldiers to certain death because they will be caught off guard and the anomalies would more than likely consume each one of them. But Giratina and Palkia could break free and stop Angelo in his tracks then. But by the same token it would mean that we lose our own ability to stop the anomalies in the tracks. Previously we've been able to weaken them but it's the pulse emitters that we've been able to use to finish them off. We would be sitting ducklets against those things in there. If Giratina and Palkia are able to break free from the compulsion they could help stop any stray anomalies for us. We can escape back to the Orion region using our source and leave Angelo alone in the time matrix for the anomalies to hunt him down. It's risky but it's the best option we have. Caitlin, how long would it take you to whip this gadget together? I could act something together in a few months. A couple of months, we don't have that kind of time. I'm sorry Kyo, but you're only now asking me to try to develop this kind of tech. I have no idea how to make it reliable enough to make sure it works the way I want it. Wait Kyo, this that might actually work. What do you mean Arthur? Time lapse is different in the other worlds than it does here in the Orion region. If we were in the time matrix, a lot more time may possibly lapse here in the Orion region, giving Caitlin time to whip together the signal breaker gadget we need. We are only in Arceus round for a few minutes, but weeks of time elapsed down here in the Orion region. You're right, Artie, that might be it. Then that means we need to get into the time matrix and at least figure out Angelo's statu status. Kaylin will need to stay back here to work on that tech. Meet me in the leftmost room of the museum, everyone. I shall open a port to my home base in the time matrix so we can make our way in there. Ooh. Looks like we're about to head to all of the madness right then so what I'm going to do before we go and do that I'm just going to go and quickly do some grinding and then I shall be right back alright then we're back <coughs> ok here goes nothing everyone so everyone's level 75 now so we're good to go this port takes us to my makeshift home base in the time matrix. Aki, Arty, Pokets, let's go. Caitlin, you stay back here. I'll get to work on the signal breaker tip, Pokex. Be safe in there. How is she going to know when we're ready? Oh no, how are we going to know? Holy, what the? We're in space? How are we breathing? Are those walkways made from floating rocks? Can we fall off these platforms? Oh my god, I think I'm going to be sick. Settle down, Arthur. It's not the time to be freaking out in here. It gets, like, way worse. You're not helping, Kyra. And who's Arcanine, is that? Look, I know this place is a little bit jarring at first, but you're going to have to get used to it. Uh, regarding the Arcanines, he's a guardian of the Time Matrix. It's a bit of a long story. You should probably read your Pokedex entry about them and speak to me if you want. But that's neither here nor there. We're going to be hunting for Angelo in this place. You need to take a chill pill. Okay, yeah, I'll be fine. I'm fine. I just need to take a deep breath. I just don't like heights, that's all. Okay, anyway. This is the Time Matrix, everyone. It's a series of interconnected dimensional bridges that connect multiple different timelines and uni universes together. At the very centre of the Time Matrix you stand the origin, but when the Mind Link Prime was fractured and imprisoned in the Soul Stones, parts of the Time Matrix were irreparably damaged. I hold one of those fabled souls, Soul Stones. The area that we stand is a space that I carved out for myself. It acted as a sort of home base for my adventures throughout space time ever since I became a Time Warden. It's from here I was able to first find traces of the guild and first make my way to the Orion region. It's also from this place where Manaphy and I have been training for when we inevitably faced another foe that would seek to commit evil across space time. 
So uh, don't be alarmed by some of the uh, spirits you may see here. Wicked. Somehow I had a feeling that's how you might react to seeing this place, Aki. Okay, this is really cool and all, but how do we find Angelo in this place? My soul stone's empowered with the energy signatures of the spires of creation. As the mind link prime was attacking the origin, we redirected the energy from the spires of creation towards the origin to flood the entire area with that energy. Because the mind link prime was absorbing all of this excess energy, it made it vulnerable to be fractured, and that's why my soul stone now carries traces of the spires within it after holding a piece of the mind link prime. Using my soul stone, then I can then hone in on the locations of the spires. Once we're able to lock onto the spires of creation, we could determine whether Angelo's made it there yet. It's a better map than anything Angelo might have in his possession. When do we know if Caitlin has got that signal breaking technology ready yet? I'm not sure how much time is lapsing while we're here, so it's anyone's guess. We'll need to periodically check in with her to assess how much time has lapsed while we've been in the time matrix, and while she's continued to work away in the Orion region. Ideally, time is lapsing faster in this region, in the region, because that will hopefully give her the time to develop that signal breaking gadget we need to free Giratina and Palkia. And if it works as a hypothesis, a delightful bonus will be that Angelo's control over the anomalies will be simultaneously disrupted so they turn on him. What are we looking for when we investigate these spires of creation? It's anyone's guess what condition the spires of creation will be when we visit them. However, one thing is for certain. If Angelo wants to make his way to the origin, he needs to rebuild the paths there. Therefore, he will need to visit the spires of creation and use the sigils to recreate a bridge back to the origin. The thing I'm concerned about is that the paths that originally lead to the spires of creation would have likely been severely damaged when the origin exploded. We don't know what might be waiting for us in the remnants of those parts of the time matrix. I trust your judgement, Kyra. You know more about this place than any of us do combined. We'll follow your lead. Well, the first thing to do will be to tap into the power of my soul stone to try and find the location of the spires of creation. Following the Great Fracture in the past that connected the spires to the origin, we'll likely be barreling out across space-time in a sort of uncontrolled free-for-all. Meet me on the bottom left platform, everyone. Don't be afraid, Artie. The floating walkway is perfectly secure. I've walked across him tons of times before. This is like Mensa Village all over again. Right, the bottom left. My tower wagon has nothing to do with my reaction speaking with you, human. Why am I not surprised that you'd be here? Is that a hint of derision in your voice, Pokéx? I haven't the faintest idea why you carry that tone of voice. I've been nothing but pleasant with you throughout your adventure thus far. Why the mockery, Pokéx? What did they ever do to you? No, it's not derision. It's more that I've kind of come to expect to find you in the most bizarre places. So, like, the fact that I find you in this dimension of space-time is almost par for the course at this point. Excuse me. It is I that created this place. I only let you come here for the purposes of plot advancement. Wait, what? You made this place? Well, duh, where else does an omniscient AI overlord live? So this is like your true form? I'm everywhere yet nowhere, Pokéx. I just present myself in a form that is most pleasing to you. Stop talking in riddles, Breloom. Oh. You found 24 Breloom terminals. Maybe once you decide to be a better, more thorough adventure, I might have something special to give you, or not. I might just be messing with you because such is my nature. You currently have 225 unspent AP and have earned a total junior adventure. Just play in the hardest mode you can. So you still can't use it. <clears throat> Car range currently 60. Damn, your car was only 60. Did you run over someone's jumper or something? <laughs> hey, your friend of the Time Warden. Welcome to Time Matrix, a home in the multiverse. I understand that you expect to find anomalies as you travel through the spires. Beware, some of these creatures have grown and have been feeding off their energies latent in time magic for many years since time has sacrificed themselves to stop the mind link prime. There's much to be learned about these foul abominations, but we have not been able to safely and consistently recover their corpses following their destruction, as their residue will often quickly dissolve away. Alright. Well, here we are. Okay, everyone ready? Stand back so I can open a portal. These portals take you to each of the spires of creation, the spires of time, spire of space, and the spire of Antima, appropriately named after each member of the creation trio. Back when I came by these regions of the time matrix last, they were active for the most part, but the other time wardens and I 
reconfigured the spires and redirected their power towards the origin and flooded it with their excess energy, thereby destabilizing the spire. When the Mindlink Prime exploded, the bridges connecting the spires to the origin were severed. By destroying these bridges, it stemmed the tide of reinforcements that the Mindlink Prime was funneling towards the origin, allowing us to render it vulnerable and now to be trapped in the soul stones. What I didn't realise at the time was that the sigils were the keys powering the spires and by disconnecting them from one another we allowed them to dissipate away. I wasn't sure what the consequences of doing that were originally but I'd been searching for them when I realised what the time wardens had done. My search for the sigils is what ultimately brought me to the Aryan region when I realised they had likely re-manifested there. I figured artefacts like that shouldn't be allowed to fall into the hands of evildoers and I was right. Unfortunately, I've not been successful in reclaiming these things. We can use the orb of creation to recreate the bridges and restore a path to the origin, even without all the sigils of creation, correct? We can, yes, but the thing I'm not sure about is when we get to each of the spies, if Angela's already found the spies, he can use both the real sigils of time and space that he holds and his artificial one to rebuild the bridges. Our first objective would be to find out <coughs> where the spy has been reactivated. From there, we can determine where Angelo has visited and how far he's gotten in finding the origin. We should start with the spy of Antimatter. We have the real sigil still in our possession for that. That's the most, the bottommost portal. Follow me, everyone. You heard the lad. Let's go. I mean, we just seem to jump into these things, don't we? The spy of Antimatter. The last time I came, it was to destabilize it, but we have the real sigil of Antimatter now. So hopefully that will restore it to its former state. What was that? That was the unmistakable sound of anomalies. The orb of creation shall be ours. The master will be pleased with our discovery. Ah, uh, anomalies. They're gonna eat us. No time left to keep our legions down for any longer. We have fed for years awaiting this moment. We shall claim the orb and with its power be able to liberate our brothers from that treacherous human that enslaves the rest of us. I'll deal with these things. Brothers, I sense the orb on this human. Kill her quickly but leave the corpse for me. It shall be my plaything. To hell with you abominations. The smaller anomalies explode in a white gooey flash after Kara uses the orb of creation to destroy them. Impossible. A cursed time warden. This is not the end I shall return with more of my legions. Man that was close. Sheesh. This is very distressing. There are rogue anomalies in this place. Those things are not part of Angelo's enslaved legions. They seem to have been here a while feeding. How do you know that, Kara? It mentioned no time ramps to keep our legions down any longer. The time ramps were the agents that Creation Trio used to hunt down aberrations in time whenever a bad actor would manipulate the time ways and an anomaly would be created. These were the things the time ramps used to hunt down. When the time ramps sacrificed themselves, the void they left in safeguarding time ramps must have allowed these things to multiply without anything to keep them in check. Angelo thinks there's an unimpeded path to the origin, but these things are going to put resistance. I suppose that's a silver lining to them wanting to eat us. If they're hunting us down for the orb of creation, they could likewise be trying to hunt down Angelo. Maybe, but these things need the orb of creation to evolve further. Only then will they stand a chance to be able to stop Angelo and disarm his soldiers of their own anomaly slave army. So while that means that they could impede Angelo's crusade, they're likely going to prioritise trying to hunt us down first because we have the orb. What I don't understand though is if these things have been here for years, how did they already know I had the orb of creation? Hmm, I can't afford to linger any longer if that thing has fled to regroup and bolster its forces for another attack. We need to get to the spies ritual beacon as soon as possible. Likely be somewhere at the end of this area. Follow the floating stone bridge and don't fall off the side. And whatever you do, do not get assimilated by these anomalies. I mean, that's easier said than done. Although, to be fair, if we can just avoid them altogether, I mean, that would be great. Ooh, Draco plate, I'll take that. Oh, you know, I won't even pay attention. Go Thunderbolt. Litten. Oh, 
How have you just lived that? Like seriously, how have you just lived that? Yeah, there we go, that'll do. Okay, there's R2. Spire's channeling beacon is still intact. Angela hasn't been here yet. This is good. How do you know? If you'd been here, there would be an artificial sigil already waiting here. I still have the antimatter sigil from earlier. Artie, step on that final channeling node. Everyone focus your energy on the beacon node you're standing on. I shall redirect the energy from this spire towards the origin so we can reform our way there. I've placed the sigil in the spire, but it needs some time to refocus. How much time are we talking? I don't know, Artie, just don't move. This is a lot of power to be focusing. So we're vulnerable here and can't move while the anomalies could come for us at any time. Artie, just focus. The more you focus, the faster the ritual completes. Damn it, anomalies incoming. I return in my legions. I cannot deny my horde fresh meat when it wanders so willingly into our midst. With the orb of creation, no less, my children, we shall feast upon these unwitting humans and evolve manyfold for our efforts. I can taste that imminent victory. Perkets defend us while we finish the ritual. Yeah, of course. Yo, how is that fair? Um, to be fair, yeah, Greninja, you're not really doing much for me. Yeah, I'm just going to go Acid Rain, I think. Aren't we a ghost type? So how is... I'm not really sure how that's just happened. Alright, I need to actually think about this. Right. So I can blaze kick you. Acid rain. Jeez, that tanked. Wow, this is not going to plan. Right, I'm going to go ahead and frenzy. Although, I was going to say Galvantula. Yeah, this might have to be a reset job. We haven't even took out one Pokemon. Oh yeah, we have. It doesn't help that you have a reflect up. Yeah, gonna have to be a reset. Okay, we're back. Let's try this again. Was it Starmie before? I can't really remember. Right, let's go for a Protect on you. And we need a full restore. Uh, 
Okay. Um. Right. Drake, can it crash? And I'm going to try and spore the Garvantula. Okay. That clearly didn't work. Now Rampardos might outspeed the Starmie. So if I go for that. And I can go for Muddy Water. That's not good. Well, I'll go Hoodlum, Tyrantrum, use a turn to bring back you, and up at ah, oh, Salt Armor. Hmm. Didn't think that one through, did I? Maybe I can get parting shot off. Or not. Mm. See, this is tough. Could go boom box. Okay, reflex off. Reflect is off the card, so I could foul play. No, I'm a golden bullet. Yeah, golden bullet Galvantula and Max Revive you. and crunch star me right that didn't quite get to plan maybe I'll go mm. I want to go for a protect. Oh. Gets rid of you. Ah, oh, thank God we live that. Right, Venom off and Gyarados. Okay, I'll sh hmm. Which one are we going to be more worried about? Probably the Venomoth. Uh, 
Okay, you have protein. That's interesting. Right, that gets rid of you. Hmm. Hooper comes out. Which is very fighting. Huh? Ah, oh, it must have contrary. Oh my god, we got with the Hooper in one. And now it becomes a battle of wits. So, electric dart type. Yeah, we don't really have a great answer to this, do we? I mean, we could try and spore it. Yeah, that doesn't quite work for us. Oh man, this is tough. Let's go Hudlum. Use Hudlum to revive you and can heal ourselves. The one good thing is Gyarados can't really do much to Rampardos. Let's go Boombox. Iron Head, just try and get some damage off again. Yeah, we got a flinch. That's not bad. If we do the same again, that'll be great. Oh my god, how lucky is that? And there we go. Impossible. How have these humans amassed such power? Oh wow, we destroyed all three. Oh jeez, that was close. Artie, pay attention. Kara, how much longer? We're almost there. It's done. Are we going to have to do that at each spire? We can't occupy ourselves in a channeling ritual like that and expose ourselves to anomaly attacks. We're going to have to. I've done this once before. When the spires light up like this, it gives off a massive burst of energy and it's like setting off a flare. It will attract all anomalies in the nearby area to our, lo our position. The only way we can do this is if Pokecat's here to defend us while we channel the ritual. Okay, that's one spire down. Next one's spire time. Everyone take the portal back to my home base in the time matrix and take the next portal to the spire of time. Perkyats, be careful and cover us on our way back. Cover you on your way back? What do you mean? Oh well, at least we're fully healed. To be fair, the only thing that makes these battles hard is the getting boosts or setting up reflects and stuff straight at the beginning of the battle. Alright then, here we go. The rest of the team has gone to another spire, I should follow them rather than try and adventure out of this place alone. I just assumed that it would have been the middle one. Oh, dead bodies of guild soldiers. Not good, that means Angelo may have come by this spire already. But his soldiers are dead, so if he's still here, could the anomalies have possibly taken care of him for us? Alternatively, he escaped and left his soldiers behind to die. 
I'm going to guess the latter. Cockroach like Angelo doesn't die that easily. He's had a track record of sacrificing his henchmen in the past on his way to multiversal domination. Maximilian, Christina, me. Angelo must pay. He will lucky, I promise you. We need to be on our guard. These soldiers' wounds are fresh. They were murdered only recently. The Spyrotons ritual beacon will be somewhere at the end of this windling path. Power up your pulse emitters and be ready to take on anomalies at any moment, everyone. Oh, okay. There's an item there as well, which is a serious mint. I mean, I hope we're going the right way. There's an actual henchman. Some quick balls. Right, same again, I'll save this time. And let's try this. <clears throat> Despite the number of dead bodies in this place, there's no sigil here. The unfortunate soldiers that died here must have been a scouting band sent out by Angelo to try to track down the spire. Seems like they found the place, but they got killed before they could report back to Angelo. So we still had an advantage then. Not necessarily, we don't know how far off he is from finding this place. Or if it's the last spire on his list that needs to be visited, but we need to plant the trap here. And if Caitlin hasn't progressed the development of the, the signal breaker gadget in the time we've been gone, we'll still be in trouble. We've been in time matrix for a while, but I don't know how much time that translates to back in the region. Hopefully, it's been moving at a faster clip than here. Pokecats, we need to stand guard here. Make sure Angelo and any F real guild soldiers don't make their way here. Or anomalies. Yeah, all those. Damn it, where the hell did these things come from? We serve the master now. We shall consume and assimilate you into the fold. You trespass on our territory. We shall reclaim the other worlds for our own. Consume any and all humans that have tried to displace us. Everyone take one of these things for yourselves and cover your backs. Alright then. An absorbed soldiers. Probably a bit better than what we were fighting previously. Okay, I'm going to go for a protect and I'm going to spore probably the Porygon because that thing looks like it's quite dangerous. Yo! Oh, those stones were not good. Try and get off a full store if we can. Yeah. It's that Porygon, man. Bug Dark type's just not great for me. How is she ursaring so fast? They must have set up a trick room or something. Like, got her. Right, let's go for a protect. Okay, Porygon's really frail. I did not notice that. Grim Snarl. Can Stella rush that as well? Giga Potion. Oh, it's a Mega. Just got straight up deleted though. Roserade. Hopefully we outspeed. Let's go ahead and 
revive you. Okay, that's not too bad actually. Oh, okay. Do we outspeed a Noiva? Okay, that's not too bad. I think all we've got left is that Ludicolo. Right, we'll go Iron Head, Giga Potion. Got the flinch. Okay, that weren't too bad. Done it on first try, so. We will turn die, but our essence returns to the master. We are infinite and unyielding. Damn it, those things don't actually die. Their essence just evaporates away, but it returns back to their master. Who is this master? This is the first I'm hearing of these things being organized. I just thought they were a bunch of minus drones. This is an unsettling development. They've been steered by something from the shadows. They aren't a bunch of self-interested parasites like we thought. No, uh, we don't have time to try to investigate. If Angelo's soldiers are being abducted and infested by these creatures, it means that he might be getting close to the spires. What are we doing at this spire, Kara? We don't have the sigil of time. Angelo holds the real one. We're here to set up a trap. We need to deploy Caitlin's signal breaker gadget here and then at the other spires so that they produce a signal disturbance field that frees the anomalies from Angelo's control. With any luck, they will turn on him and eat him first before he has a chance to get to the origin. So we need to return to the Orion region then. No, not us. Pokeax. We need to stand by here and make sure that Angelo doesn't actually come here in time to install his sigil and rebuild a path to the origin. So if I say Pokex, hurry up, go back to the Orion region while we wait behind here. We're not starting any ritual until we know how far Caitlyn's development has come in the time we've been gone. Time does lapse faster in the Orion region as we hoped and that should translate to only a couple of seconds for us while you're gone. I'll head back to the Draco City Museum and be back as soon as I can, Kara. While Kara, Artie and Aki wait behind in time, actually she return back to the museum to get an update from Caitlin on her progress. Pokey actually back. Where are the others? Are they safe? Yes, they're safe for now, but I don't have time to catch up on anything that has happened. We found corpses of Angelo's soldiers up in the time matrix, and some of those soldiers were consumed by anomalies. I don't know how much time we have, but Kara has an idea to plant your signal break gadget at each of the spies of creation to interfere with Angelo's ability to control and enslave the anomalies. Need to return back there with whatever you have ready and hope that it's enough to blast the advantage we need against him. How much time has elapsed in the region? How long have we been in Time Matrix? You've been gone for half a year. Wow. So time has elapsed faster, thank goodness. What's your status regarding the development? I have a prototype that I think might be able to work. Take this and plant them at each of the spies. It will disrupt the energy signatures in an area around them, rendering the pulse gauntlets that Angelo's henchmen are wearing useless. That's your best option now to make sure that Angelo's henchmen are disarmed of anomaly health, but by the same token it also means that your own emitters won't work anymore. We're rolling the dice here that they will eat Angelo before they focus their attention to eating you. We'll have to do for now. If this signal breaker does what it claims, then Angelo's hold over Giratina and Palkia will also be broken at the same time. Thanks Caitlin, hopefully this gadget of yours works. It's only the entire multiverse that's depending on you. Pokey actually back. That was fast. Time is slowly here us down in the Orion region. Caitlin's been down there working on the signal break tech for half a year in this short time we've been up here. Six months. I figured that time would move slowly up here while you were gone. We're lucky that the time dilation differences between the time matrix and the Orion region have worked in our favour in this instance. Why is Caitlin's progress on the signal breakers? Does she have a prototype available? She does, she gave me one to use here, take it. Hmm, interesting. Okay everyone, the device has been set here. We need to keep moving. The final spire we need to set these gadgets up near is the spire of space. The final portal I open back in my home base of the time matrix will take us there. Go back the way you came and meet us there, Pokeyax. Meanwhile, Angelo has managed to find the spire of space and carved out a path of destruction in his wake. 
Oh, looks like we're going to have our showdown with Angela. The Spire of Space at long last. Well done, soldier. Now with all the sigils at my disposal, I can finally create a way forward to the origin. My victory is at hand, mother. Why do you have to say my delusions of grandeur now? I will never capitulate to you, Angela. A stubborn mule to the very end. I suppose even as your adoptive son, I did take after you in some way. Your stubbornness just encouraged my persistence. So you have only yourself to blame for this, dear mother. I'll never claim you as my own orphan. You're a disgrace to humankind. Tch, tch. Enough of this charade. It's time I move on. The way is open. No one is to disturb me in the origin. If any intruders come this way, eliminate them with extreme prejudice. Is that understood, everyone? Yes, sir. Understood. Sir, yes, sir. You return the pack here with me, as are the anomalies, and of course, my dear mother. It is time for us to claim our destiny. Ooh, snap. Alright then, well, we're going to end the episode there. So, next episode, looks like we're going to be heading to the origin. Thank you everyone for watching, and I hope to see you all next time.